Spoiler alert! Thewatchman.com.au proudly presents Thrones in 60 Seconds. Season 7, Episode 7, The Dragon and the Wolf. 3, 2, 1, go. It's a reunion party at King's Landing and everyone is invited to talk about a truce. Daenerys is late, Cersei is shitty, the hound busts out his pet zombie which scares the pisser out of all of them. Euron says f*** this shit and heads home. Solid presentation guys, much better than a powerpoint. Cersei accepts but Jon Snow refuses to extend the truce with the Lannisters and the deal's off. Tyrion meets Cersei alone, she doesn't kill him, he has a drink, I need a drink. Cersei doesn't drink and Tyrion finds out she's preggers. Cersei's back with a change of heart and the deal's on again. Sansa gets a raven from Jon and his f***s he spent the knee. Littlefinger feels her paranoia about Arya. Fast travel to Dragon's Reach and Jon convinces Daenerys to sail to White Harbor instead of going business class on a dragon. Theon goes to fight club with his crew, wins after a failed nut shot and is off to rescue his sister. Sansa has it out with Arya, but holy f**k, they've conspired against Littlefinger, charged him with murder and treason, and Arya cuts his throat. Cersei has a chat to Jaime, conspires to double-cross the alliance, and the deal is off again. She sent Euron to buy an army in Essos. Jaime gets the shits and bales. Sam visits Bran at Winterfell. Bran reveals that Jon is the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. His real name is Aegon Targaryen, and he's just rooted his auntie. Sansa and Arya have a sisterly moment on the wall at Winterfell. Tormund sees the army of the dead arrive at the wall with the big get ice dragon ridden by the Night's King, and it blasts the wall to rubble. See you in two years. You've been listening to Thrones in 60 Seconds, proudly presented by thewatchmen.com.au.